I am so excited for this VS Code extension. It's called Auto Hockey Debug, and it was just released about a month ago. It does exactly what you would hope this thing would do. It adds built-in Auto Hotkey debugging support to VS Code. Let's jump in and find out how this thing works. Oh yeah, and before somebody leaves a comment, I know about AHK Studio. Um, it's probably had debugging for years. For me personally, it just isn't going to cut it for my life. For my day job, I'm in VS Code doing not auto hockey. Most of my hobby projects are not auto hockey. And as much as I like auto hockey, I really want to have VS Code work for everything for me. If you only do auto hockey, though, I would definitely take a look at AHK Studio. I've heard really good things about it. If you aren't familiar with debuggers, the idea is kind of hard to explain. Basically, it allows you to execute your code step by step, one line at a time. It also lets you see the current state of all the variables in your code. When you think your program's working, but it actually doesn't, debugging helps you figure out what the problem is. We're going to use the script from my recent Jimcraft video as an example. If you haven't watched it, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you what debugging is with this extension. So we can start debugging with F5, or we can go to Run, and then click on Start Debugging. And you'll see the screen kind of change to the debug view. I'm not going to go into everything you can do with the debugger, but I'm going to cover like the need-to-know basics for now. So if we look towards the left, you can see the variables panel. And under local and global are the two different types of variables. And we'll close the watch and call stack for now. Here you can see all the variables that are in my script. So I've got this amplifiers variable, which is here. I've got starting gym grade, that's showing up here. And if you look at this green line where the arrow is, that is the point at which the debugger has stopped the script. If we go ahead and hit continue, it will continue executing the script. Notice that the variables on the left has gone away. That's because when the code isn't stopped, the debugger can't see what the current variable state is. We can go ahead and run our um, hotkey with tilde already and do the script, but the debugger isn't really gonna do anything because the debugger doesn't know where to stop and allow you to execute your code. So if you look at the left side here, there are these um, circles and here you can set a breakpoint. So if I go ahead and click here, you'll see at the bottom that there is a breakpoint set. And if I go ahead and hit tilde, the script will run, it'll start at the loop, it'll assign starting grade gym, and then it'll get to amplifiers. And at line 12, I had a breakpoint set, so it stops. You'll see the same green line and the same arrow. If you look at the left, starting gym grade is set to five, because that's what it was here. Now let's take a look at this top thing. Um, it is movable. <laughs> is pretty cool. And there are a couple buttons you need to know. So we already covered continue. That just lets the script continue rolling. No more stopping. The next one, F10, is step over. And what that does is it just goes to the next step. So I click it. It will continue to execute the next step of the code. The step into command will go inside of a function call if you were calling a function. Um, I don't have any functions here. Um, but if you're working with functions, you can always use that. And step out will leave the current function you are in and come back out. Finally, we have restart, which will just stop the script and restart it, and stop, which stops the script. So for example, if I wanted to rename starting gym grade to eight, I can save it and restart it. And debugging will restart. I'll be uh, at the beginning, so I can just run it. Um, my breakpoint will still be saved. So when I hit tilde, it'll jump me right back to line 12. And I can check my global variables and starting gym grade is eight. So next we're gonna look at a, well, admittedly less real world example, but this is gonna showcase the idea of include files and how it works with that. So this script basically just like has some numbers, randomly prints them, and then calls this from debugger B function, which in this file, here's from debugger B. I use tons of includes in my scripts. So this was the first thing I checked to make sure this works. And it does, it's so awesome. So uh, if we click on start debugging again, uh, you'll see it's here. So I'll continue and set a breakpoint. We'll set a breakpoint for here. Notice that my message box is still up and the breakpoint hasn't been hit. So remember that in auto hockey, when you do a message box, it stops execution of the script and the debugger, of course, handles that correctly. So we'll hit OK and it stopped on the loop. So I can hit F10 a couple times, step over and you'll see that it's actually called correctly. If I do this again, I can actually step into and it automatically brings me to debugger B 
And now I can actually see in the local variables what X is because it's a local variable to this function. Yeah, this is this is crazy cool. Uh, I'm so happy it works with include statements because, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know how this works, but I don't think that's a given that it works with include statements. It's still early days for this extension. The author, uh, I think it's Helmsme, Helmsme, I'm not really sure. Uh, it was published less than a month ago, which is not very much time. Like I'm being honest, in my demos, there were no bugs. I've already seen some bugs. It's just going to happen. And I'm really excited that hopefully as this extension progresses forward, there will be more bug fixes and it'll be better. And yeah, I'm just excited to finally be able to do this in VS Code. So that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments if you find this extension useful. I can't wait to start using this more on my real code. If you like this video and you want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.